Hello guys, how are you? As you know, I am English teacher. My name is Ms. Hedil. I am Sunrise teacher for grade 3B. Today we're going to talk about Sunrise grammar and vocabulary. Let's start now. Uh, I want to start it with the words, I mean vocabulary. Guys, as you know, this word is action. What the meaning action? Action, it means doing something. You always, you're going to do something. Read. You're going to read it. Doing action. Talk. Look. Write. Eat. Drink. I was going to read it one more time. Guys, please, when you watch it, you have to repeat it, okay? Read. Talk. Look. Write. Eat. Drink. Okay. Now, let's go to next. As you know, guys, now we're going to talk about subject pronouns. Subject pronouns, as you know, guys, we have seven subject pronouns. Another time I review it. Now, subject, uh, today, when we're going to talk about subject pronoun, we will use it for present continuous. How are we going to use it? As you know, she, he, it, we, you, they, I, they are subject pronoun. No. She, he, it. We're going to use is or are. Mm, I'm sure. Of course, is. We're going to use or for this group. We, you, they. We're going to use are. For I, we're going to use am. I'm going to repeat it again, guys. She, is, he, is, it, is. This group, they're going to get is. Do you know why they will get uh, is? Because they are one person. For example, she, just for the girl. He, for the boy. And it, as you know, for the animal or something non-living. That's why we're going to use is. We, you, they. These are, they're going to get are because they are plural. We, as you know, guys. And you and they, they're going to get are. I. I, me, it means me, I'm going to get um. Now, we will talk about this. Let's go to next part. Okay, guys, as I said, we talk about present continuous. Now, how are we going to put these action words into this sentence? Now, as you know, guys, we said she, he, it, they're going to get is. Now, she plus is plus verb ing. Verb ing. It means present continuous. Why are we going to use present continuous? Guys, we will use present continuous for something always to do it. Always, always to do it. For example, she is talking. What is she going to do it? She is talking, 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 talking. Now, we have she. As I said, she is now talking. This one is verb ing. Okay? Now, guys. Let's do, this one is, as I said, this one is for singular. Now let's use it for plural. What we're going to use it? We, we, you know, we cannot use is because it's plural. We're going to use are. We are verb ing. We are eating pizza. This is we. And this is are. And this one is, sorry, this one is verb ing. And this one is complement. Okay? Now, if I use I, I, how are we going to use it? I said I get um. I am adverb ing. This one is I, this one is um, and this one is verb ing. And this one is complement. Let me read the sentence for you guys. Let me erase it because a little bit mixing. She is talking. We are eating pizza. I am writing a letter. Okay, guys, this is present continuous. Now, next. Now, we're going to talk about Unit 10. These groups, these group vocabulary, they are, their action is two. For example, run, jump, walk. Ride a horse, listen, sing. Now, when you're listening to the video, you have to, I mean, when you watch the video, you have to repeat it after me, okay? I'm going to read it one more time for you. Run, jump, 
walk, ride a horse, listen, sing. Ha ha. Guys, again we're gonna put that word is putting in a sentence. How we're gonna put in a sentence? If we're gonna put in a sentence, we have to use it present continuous. As I said, subject pronoun. How many subject pronoun do we have? Seven. As you know, guys, she, he, it, we, you, they are. No. Now, guys, as I said, she, he, it, what they gonna take it? Is because they are singular. We, you, they, they gonna get are because they are plural. I, they're gonna get um. This is finished. Let's go to next. Okay, guys. Now, we're going to put into the sentence again. We use present continuous. We're going to put, put that word into the sentence. How are we going to put the sentence? Guys, before putting the sentence, I want to talk about short forms. Short forms, it means you're going to take a letter. And since that letter, you're going to use comma. For example, she is. We're going to do she's. Do you remember? I always said this I, we're going to cut out. And since this I, we're going to use comma. He is i said his what i did this i i remove it and says this i am going to use comma let's go to the next huh in here guys i always say i i i you're going to remove i for i am you have to re remove it this a now you're going to say i am they are these are as i said singular let us go to plural how are we going to do it plural they are, this time we're going to cut out this A. They said they are. We are, we're going to cut out this A. We said we are. It is, we're going to cut out this I. This is this I, we use comma. Guys, don't forget, this is short form. All of this, we're going to talk about short form. Okay, I want to explain it. Why I'm talking short form? Let's see. He is riding a horse because I'm going to use it in here. Look at here. He is, this one, reality should be like he is. This is the original one. But as I said, guys, we're going to cut it, the I, we make it short for him. It will be he is. He is riding a horse. She is running. Guys, the same thing. This one is she is. But what I'm going to do? It. I'm going to cut out. I'm going to write it she. I cross it. This one, I'm going to remove it. I use comma and says this I. After that, I'm going to use this. I make it short for she is running. In here, they are singing. Guys, this one, they are. How are we going to fix it? As I said, we're going to cut out this A. We're going to use, insist this A, comma. They are. This one is short for. I will just read the sentence for you. He's riding a horse. She is running. They are singing. Okay, guys, now let's go to next slide. Negative. I just want to talk about negative. We talk about short form, we talk about verb ing, we talk about present continuous, we talk about subject pronoun. No. How are we gonna make negative? Let's start it. Subject pronouns, as I said, how many subject pronouns do we have? Seven. What are they? He, she, he, it, we, you, they, I. Guys, what are they going to get this group? As you know, they are singular. We have to use is. This group, we, you, they, they going to get are. After that, we're going to use not. 
not for negative not for negative i okay now she isn't how we can have, guys i want to explain one more thing in here again and again and again we're gonna cut out this not this o i mean for short form we insist this o we're gonna use comma how are we gonna do it let me explain it for you he he is look and says this not i use comma it isn't we what we use for it we are you they in here in here for i i cannot remove the o for example this is i am right how are we gonna make i am short for i cut out with this a I will cut this A. In this this A, I use comma. After that, I write not completely. I'm not. Okay. I will. I want to read it for you guys. She isn't. He isn't. It isn't. We aren't. You aren't. They aren't. I'm not. Okay? Now, let's go to next part. Now, I want to talk about punctuation. What do you mean punctuation? I think most of the time in the classroom, I ask my lovely student, what do you mean punctuation? Right? Let me remind you, punctuation, it means capital letter, full stop, comma, question mark. What do I mean in capital letter? As you know, guys, capital letter, we have to start sentence with the capital letter. This is normal. Thing. You cannot change this. Always, always, you have to use the sentence. You have to start the sentence with the capital letter. For example, he's jumping. Is it right, the sentence? No. Why? I'm going to use the capital letter in the, the first time. Then we don't have comma in here. I use comma. After that, where is the full stop in here? I'm added full stop. Now we talk about capital letter. We're going to make this capital letter. Full stop. How are we going to use full stop? As you know, guys, when we finish the sentence, when we finish the talking, we should be put the full stop away. Okay? She's playing. Look. We're going to add a comma in here because as you know, this is something wrong in here. And playing. At the end, I'm going to use comma. In here, what we're going to use it? In here, we use capital letter. And this one is full stop. Now, comma. What do you mean in comma? The small O. Do you remember I always said, what we're going to use it in Kurdish language? O. The small O. Okay? Now. They are walking. They are walking. Look, I'm added capital letter, comma, and full stop. I use it all of these three when I write the sentence. Now, question mark. When I use it, question mark, guys, in general, I want to talk about this. Always, always, when you ask a question to someone or when you write something, you have to, at the end of the sentence, you have to add it, question mark. Look. Is he running? Is he running? I want to ask it. Is he running? You have to answer me. That's why we're going to use this question mark. Okay? Now, we talk about capital letter. Capital letter, we're going to use it the first. We start the sentence with the capital letter. Full stop. When we finish the sentence, we add it full stop. Comma. When we cut something or remove something, it says that we're going to use comma. 
question mark when we speak after that when we stop it or when we ask a question to someone we have to use question mark okay so let's go to next slide now unit 11 unit 11 in here we talk about eating yummy yummy look at here biscuits kebabs pizza chips ice cream sandwiches i'm gonna read it one more time for you when you watch it you have to repeat it after me okay biscuits kebabs pizza chips ice cream sandwiches next do you remember guys in the classroom we talk about the sound now we talk about the sound sh and ch sh for ship sharp she short all of this started with sh ship sh, 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 sharp she short in here in the sound we call ch, ch chair chips teacher in here the sound that will be in the middle choose chair chips teacher choose i'm gonna read it one more time sh ship share she short ch chair chips teacher choose okay this is the sound of sh and ch now let's go to next Hmm, talking about yes no question guys do you remember we talk about how we gonna ask a question how we will answer the question when i ask you a question you have to answer me so how are you gonna answer me the question let's see are they reading a book i ask you a question are they reading a book yes they are guys what we are going to do it in here it's so easy you're gonna bring this day to the first i mean the front after you're gonna write r the easiest way okay no they aren't yes they are no they aren't are they reading a book yes they are no they aren't now are you eating sandwich yes guys do you remember we took this in the classroom and here if we have you if you have you we change you for what for i in here are you eating sandwiches because i'm asking you are you eating sandwiches you have to answer me yes i am no no i'm not i want to repeat this part for you guys in here talking about yes no question yes no question it means asking a question and someone should be repeat answer you okay how they can answer me for example are they reading a book i will ask you are they reading a book you have to answer by yes or no yes they are if they are reading a book you have to say yes they are if they do read a book you have to say no they aren't now are they eating sandwiches are you for sorry are you i'm asking you are you eating sandwiches you have to answer me about i'm talking about you so you have to answer about yourself so yes i am yes i am it means yes i am eating no i'm not no i'm not i'm not gonna eat it okay now let's go to the next slice and this one is unit 12. Unit 
girls, as you know, guys, you're not too of it talking about body parts. Hand, arm, leg, foot, head, neck. One more time. Hand, arm, leg, foot, head, neck. This one is the main and the important thing in the grammar for me. Put the word into the correct order, guys. How are we going to put the word into the correct order? How are we going to fix it? This one is question. Question, okay? How are we going? I always say it, question. We have to use, for example, we have reading is he. I'm going to use is in the first, then he. After that, reading. Okay, we have she singing is ha huh, in here. Is he reading? He is he reading, guys? Is he reading? Is he reading? Yes, he is in here. Is she? Is she singing? This is the girl. Is she singing? No, she isn't. In here. Is he talking? No. He isn't. Look at the point. He's talking? No, of course. What he's doing? He's reading a book. Now, the last one is she. We're going to write it. Is she eating? Is she eating? Is she eating? No, she isn't. And this is the end, guys. I'm going to read it one more time for you. We have reading is he. Is he reading? Yes, he is. Is she singing? No, she isn't. Is he talking? No, he isn't. Is she eating? No, she isn't. Okay, guys, now it's finished. Thank you for watching. I hope everything will be fine. Have a nice holiday. Goodbye.